Well, Washington State's graduation rate, speaking of schools as we started, is inching closer to 80 percent, but that's still lower than the national average. And now a book goes behind the scenes of what causes kids to drop out. It's called Why We Drop Out, and the authors talk to 53 former students living here in the Puget Sound area. So joining us this morning, one of the authors, Barbara Waxman, a professor at Western Washington University in Bellingham. Good morning. So this, in your book, you talk about these sort of uh, four steps that students take and kind of end up dropping out. Could you kind of walk through that process for sure. us? Sure. So there's an initial disengagement process where kids get turned off to school for some reason. It could be social, where they don't feel like they're part of a social group, or they feel or are experienced being bullied. Another one might then be not having um, success in school, like especially having trouble perhaps with math. And then they begin to skip or I think maybe there's something better outside of school and more interesting outside of school. And then the skipping increases until eventually they drop out. And you mentioned all those steps as reasons why they would drop out, but a lot of these students started out loving school. Exactly. So this was one of the most interesting findings. We asked them about their school experiences beginning with elementary school, and it turns out that they liked elementary school. They had warm, fond memories of their teachers. They felt connected. They felt a relationship. They enjoyed the activities in school. And it wasn't until middle school where they felt like, oh, this is not for me. So what can parents watch out for? I mean, if you think your kid loves school and then suddenly they're skipping or dropping out, I mean, that seems like a pretty shocking thing. How, what are things I can watch for as a parent? So you really should watch for how kids are doing in school. Where are they having difficulties? Learning issues is a big, big factor in dropping out. And when those learning issues go unmet and undealt with, then kids become more and more disengaged. So watch for those learning issues. Uh, another one is how connected does the child feel to school? Do they feel like they belong or do they feel like they don't belong? And then of course watch for things like drinking and drugs and, and alienation. What about yeah. socioeconomic status? Did that play a role and factor it, in? It's a huge factor in this. While overall the dropout, the graduation rate is around 89%, if you look at, at low income students, it's way more than that. So almost one in four don't graduate. Is there anything schools or districts or teachers could be doing? I mean, I, you hear about truancy boards. Yes. I mean, everybody wants to solve this problem, for example, but what, right. what could work? So I think you really need to track kids really well. You need to really think about transitions, especially to middle school, where suddenly you're just changing classes all day long. Um, and also the transition to ninth grade, which is a huge thing. And so you need to really think about how to make those transitions easier for kids. And then you need to think about tracking those learning issues so that if there are problems with learning, they're dealt with. And that teachers know about it in the next grade. And then you need to make, um, really work on the culture of the school and make sure kids feel a sense of belonging and that they're valued and that there's some adult in the school that really cares about you. What for you is the most surprising finding? So I think thinking about their elementary school experiences was one, that mm -hmm. they really did like school. It wasn't until secondary school that they became so disengaged and disenchanted. And the other was how regretful they were about dropping out. We asked all the, all the youth, what would you say to your younger self as they were thinking about dropping out? And they went, don't do it. <sighs> stay, somehow find a way to stay. They all regretted leaving, but also felt in some cases like they were really pushed out. So if parents, teachers, schools, friends could figure out a way to help them from the beginning, it sounds like that could be the answer. Uh, that's one partial yeah. answer. And then also really inquiring, you know, you asked about parents watching or teachers watching kids for signs. Also when kids misbehave, when they act out, there's always a reason. So don't just suspend or expel them. Find out what's going on. It really is a sign and a message that needs to be taken seriously. Barbara Waxman, thank you so much. Sure. Really interesting insight. We've been talking about this book. It's again called Why We Drop Out. We posted a link to buy it on our website. Just head to q13fox.com and click on links you saw on TV.